Hello fellow coders, hope you all are doing great. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can convert your Microsoft Word documents into strings uh, that could be handled inside Python and you can basically use the data from the Microsoft Word in, in, inside the Python and you can do whatever you want to. Like if you want to process something with it or you want to, you know, work on that data, you can without actually, you know, manually copy pasting all the data from a word document yep so first of all you need to make sure that you have actually installed pip on your desktop or laptop like on your system basically and you can check uh, check it by writing the command pip in this command prompt and then you will be able to see that uh, it just throws up some output that means uh, it's actually installed in your in your system and then we're going to run this command pip install python docs and docs is just the library that we are going to be using in order to process the documents and uh, basically convert them into strings that uh, again could be used inside python in order to uh, do different kind of uh, functions on them or operations on them and now once we have installed the library we're going to go ahead and create one document like this like docs.py python and also we're just going to create a new test document like the word document so i've created this test.docx so the next step is we're going to import docx we're going to write import docs and I'm just going to show you that it is actually working. Look there, it's not throwing any errors. That means you have already installed docs in the Python's um, library management system. Now, I'm actually going to refer to the Python's documentation for it. The Python docs documentation. Again, you can find these links in the description box. And uh, you can just go ahead and check the Python documentations for it. It explains everything about the docs library and uh, if there is any other function that you might want to use for any other thing then that I'm going to show in the video you can definitely go ahead and refer to the docs I'm going to refer to this uh, article that they have written over here and uh, I'm just gonna show you the code that we are going to be using over here so we don't have to go through the whole documentation and uh, just uh, go ahead and figure out and how we can just get the text from a dot .docx file again if the work has already been done we don't have to like redo it ourselves and then i mean we don't have to go ahead and read all the documentation and stuff for it so you can clearly see that there are different uh, lines of codes over here number one we are having doc equal to docs dot document and then we have the file name whatever file name that we are going to be having we just have to mention uh, we, we are going to pass it inside that uh, function the get text function so docs.document is just going to initiate an object for it and then we are having an empty array initialization that is full text equal to empty array note that they have used camel case writing in full text okay so that is something uh, we can use or uh, we can avoid it as well we can use the underscore between the full full and the text in order to match the conventions but it's up to you because uh, the name of the variables and different containers could be like different data structures it just depends on you the next up we are having a for loop and a for loop for para and dot dot paragraphs it's just going to iterate through dot dot paragraphs and uh, para is going to be the iterator for and then we are just going to append in full text for each iteration para dot text so we are just extracting the text we are just uh, converting it into text and then just uh, appending it into the list that we have already initialized and finally we are returning backslash n dot join full text now that is just going to join the text into a string with a backslash n that means uh, uh, for each text there is going to be a backslash n included at the end of the string so that's how we are going to just convert the list into a string now here you can see that there is an attribute error it says partially initialized module talks has no attribute document most likely due to a circular import so the reason behind that we are getting this error is due to the fact that we have named our file incorrectly according to the 
Python's documentation for docs library. So in order to make this thing work, we just have to rename our uh, docs.py file to something else so that it does not conflict with the library itself. All right, let's run this module. All right, so there is another error that we're getting package not found. Now, the reason behind this error is due to the fact that we have created the new docs by using the context menu. And that is something that causes an error. So it's actually a bug or you can say it's like uh, something that is happening due to if we are if we are creating the file by going inside the context menu and then clicking to the clicking on the new option and then create new docs file. So if we are creating a docs file with the help of the new option in the context menu, we're going to get so we're going to create it with the help of save as option and There you go. Now you can clearly see that it is working perfectly fine. Now, if you want to actually use these uh, different lines and uh, if you want to process them and uh, like maybe you want to filter them out or maybe you want to use it, use them somewhere else, you can do it with the help of uh, list and you might be able to handle the data better with the help of list. So you can just not use the join function in the return in the return statement that we have entered in the function definition that's it for now guys hope you enjoyed the video please share this video with your friends and family i'll see you again very very soon later